Hey everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to use Audacity to record an audio track. So I've downloaded the Audacity program. I'm going to launch it and it brings me to the recording area. Now the first thing I need to do is to create a track. I'm going to go up to the tracks menu, add new, and I'm going to add a mono track since I just have the one microphone. I'm also going to make sure that the audio is going in to the computer via my um, Focusrite Thunderbolt interface. If you don't have an audio interface, you can use your internal microphone input. I'm going to record a mono track. I could record stereo if I had two mics. I just have the one mic. So mono is the right choice. And then I'm going to monitor or listen back through my built-in output which I have my headphone out of my computer going to a stereo amplifier with speakers so I can listen back after the recording. If I wanted to record during um, playback, so if I wanted to overdub, for example, I'd probably use the audio interface and then I'd plug some headphones into it. But I'm just going to record this and then listen back to it after the recording. And that's it. I've created a track space. I've got all my... These are called your transport controls, pause, record, uh, sorry, pause, play, stop, rewind, forward, and record. So I'm going to be using a handheld metronome I have on my smartphone, and I'll be teaching a simple audio lesson on how to play the clave rhythm. So here's my lesson. I'm going to hit record and then record my lesson. Hey, everybody. Kalani here, and I'm really excited to play the clave rhythm for you guys. I know we've been working up to this, and I can't wait to hear it with all the drumming that you guys have been doing. So I'm going to play the click in the background, and then I'll say the clave rhythm for you. Make sure you tap along, or you can say it with me, and let's learn the clave rhythm together. Here's our click. One, two, three, four. Snap. And that's the clave rhythm. You guys know you can rewind and rehearse this and play along as many times as you need to. I'll see you guys in class and we'll play this in our drumming ensembles. All right, and then I just stop up here when I'm done recording. I can rewind and let's give it a quick listen. Hey everybody, Kalani here and I'm really excited to play the clave rhythm for you guys. I know we've been working up to this and... Okay, so that's our audio. I'm going to do a couple quick edits just to clean this up. I'm going to use my cursor and select the beginning and then I'm just going to press the delete key and that will trim the unused space or empty space off the beginning. And then I'm going to use this scroll bar at the bottom to go to the end. And I'll do the same thing, even though there's not a lot of extra space. But sometimes you've got a bit of uh, un, you know, recorded time at the beginning and the end, and you just want to clean that up. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not really sure why there's a track up here. Um, let's try to delete that. So if you have extra tracks, you can go to Remove Tracks. And that... Now I just have the one track. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to do is to export your audio because now, it's, of course, it's in Audacity in your computer. So to do that, you're going to go to File and guess what? Export audio. Very simple. Now, you'll get a menu. First of all, you have to name it. So let's say Clave Lesson. You can put some tags onto it. Um, you can certainly pick folders on your computer. Uh, I'm just going to export to the desktop. File type MP3 for most of you, most of the time. But look at this. You can export in everything from industry standard professional formats, uncompressed formats, down to all these what we call lossless or lossy formats. These are all compressed formats. But just select MP3. Make your life easy. I'm going to leave it on this preset, which is standard 170 to 210 kilobits per second. And joint stereo or stereo. Honestly, I really don't know 
what the difference is. I, I guess joint stereo is two monos that are acting as stereo. Um, but anyway, just press save and then, oops, oh, we've got another window. It's asking us for more stuff. So you can enter in all this information. You know, this is more for making a CD really, but uh, if you want to enter in information here, you can. Then we're going to hit OK and guess what? Now I need to download something. It's saying Audacity needs the file libmthrlamdlib to create mp3s. So I'm going to get my free copy of LAME here and I'm going to do that. So from this window, select your platform. Here's Windows, Mac OS, and down here there's even Linux. Uh, for those of you that have that, I'm going to click this download page. Make sure you scroll up and click. I'm going to click here for Mac OS downloads and then for Audacity uh, 1.3.3 or later. I can click this and that downloads and then install it. So you're going to keep going through these steps. And there we go. And now let's go back to Audacity and see how this is working. All right, can I save it now? There we go. Okay, so I just exported that and now it appears on my desktop. Now this is an MP3 file and I can play it. Hey everybody, Kalani here and I'm really excited to play the clave rhythm for you guys. And that's it. And now I can take that file and I can upload it to Schoology or later on uh, to my SoundCloud account. Okay, and that's it. That's your introduction to using Audacity. Of course, there's lots more the program can do, but that gives you the basic startup. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching.